Hi, this is Chris Dowd, field agronomist for Pioneer in Southwest Iowa. Hi, I'm Adam Tice, district lead for Pioneer in Southwest Iowa, here with Chris. Chris, I see you got a box there. What are we looking at? So what we basically did here, Adam, was we tried to simulate cold shock into soybeans with this planter box study, where we took several boxes and we basically put 10 treated seeds on this side of the box and 10 untreated of the same genetics. Uh, we then followed it up with a cold shock of moisture uh, to basically uh, give those seeds their first drink of very suboptimum conditions. And what that's allowed us to demonstrate is that the value of, of uh, seed treatment for germination is very critical in a year like 2019. Uh, it's not uh, uncommon to see a lot of articles and messages in relation to this out there in the industry this year, but we just wanted to see, is it for real that we can see the separation that they talk about from research throughout the industry? Yeah, and it looks like it's for real, and I'm starting to get to the point now as we get closer to the second week of May, you know, should I treat my beans moving forward? And I'm sure you're getting that question a lot more than I am. So what's your agronomic answer to that question? It's an annual question we get every year, and I've been very pleased to see the percentage of seed that's gone out and in the ground so far with treatment. Uh, as we move forward into the second half of the growing, or of this planting season, uh, it's important that growers stay the course. Right now we're seeing uh, saturated conditions across the Midwest. Uh, along with trends towards reduced seeding rates and in order to just maintain and have assurance of that final stand establishment to optimize our overall genetic potential of these elite genetics that we have out here, seed treatment is an invaluable resource that moving forward we have every bit as much risk on the second half of the, of the planning window as we oftentimes see in the, in the first half of the window. So. Well, thank you for your insights on the value of seed treatments moving forward. If you have any other questions about the value of seed treatments locally, uh, feel free to reach out to your local Pioneer sales rep, and thank you for your time. That concludes this Pioneer Growing Point Agronomy video podcast. Visit our page on pioneer.com and follow us on Twitter and Facebook for more agronomy insights.